Here at TIA, passengers have two options, the controversial pat-down by airport security or the full-body scan. Some say they won't do either. Personally, I don't like it. This traveler isn't alone. People across the country are voicing frustration about TSA's new security measures. So much so, some are calling Wednesday National Opt-Out Day. There's even a website and Facebook page with instructions for travelers. More power to him. Dennis Lanfer is heading back to Texas, not excited about going through security again. On the trip out here, I went through the screen. They still had to pat me down for no reason. It's one of the busiest travel days nationwide. And if Wednesday's opt-out plan actually happens, airport officials at TIA say lines could be slow. Would that delay planes or would people just miss their flights? Well, I think each airline is going to have to look at how they handle that because this is a nationwide issue. However, officials say most likely planes will depart as scheduled to prevent delays. I think it's great. The more security, the better. The majority of people we spoke to at TIA are okay with the full body scanners, but the pat down is a bit more controversial, especially after this video was posted online. A young boy with no shirt being patted down at a Utah airport. I would rather go through the screening than pat down. That would make me a little nervous. Still, TSA officials have been quoted as saying the inspections are unavoidable in a time of terrorist threats. Airport officials say if you plan on flying Wednesday, allow some extra time just in case. At Tulsa International Airport, Dina Silk, 2 News works for you.